Welcome to the Dynon Channel, your video source for information, education, and training on Dynon Avionics' industry-leading line of integrated avionics for experimental amateur-built and light sport aircraft. Today's topic, Skyview System, Autopilot Expert Mode, flying an HSI course needle with the NAV mode. In this video, I'd like to cover using the NAV mode on the roll menu on the expert autopilot menus. Uh, again, to start with, we're looking at Skyview's main menu here. Button one labeled PFD tells me on the main menu. First, I'm going to select autopilot menu, button four. I'm going to engage the autopilot in the, with the AP button. Notice the autopilot is engaged in the roll mode by default on the lateral axis and on the pitch axis we're engaged in the VS mode, vertical speed mode, holding vertical speed zero. Next, let me get to the roll menu. And again, on this menu, you see we're in the roll hold mode. We've talked about the heading and track bug modes previously. This video, I'm focusing on the nav mode. Notice on my HSI, I have a nav needle. Uh, it's getting guidance from Skyview's VFR GPS navigator. My destination here is Whidbey Island Naval Air Station, 72 miles away, and I'm uh, roughly on course. So. I'm going to start by pressing button for nav. Notice what happens when I select that mode. Button four turns green, telling me that mode is engaged. And in the status bar at the top, the roll axis enunciation is flashing. I've, I've been engaged in this mode. Notice it says GPS, telling me I'm in the GPS navigation mode. And by the way, the enunciation is magenta. That is consistent throughout the EFA system. Anytime we're looking at GPS course guidance information, uh, it's color-coded magenta. In the pitch axis, we're still carrying along in the vertical speed mode, holding a vertical speed of zero. And you, uh, hopefully you noticed that as I engaged that mode, the autopilot made a slight right-hand turn to make sure we would follow that course needle. And we're continuing on with the course needle centered just like a good autopilot or even a good human pilot should be doing. And it's really that simple. The autopilot will continue to find, follow this course until we come to a bend in the course and it would uh, roll out smoothly on the next course leg if we had a multi-leg flight plan engaged. Now in a moment, I'm going to show you a slightly different behavior for the nav mode. I'm going to pause my video for a moment, switch some things, and I'll be back with you in just a moment. Okay, I'm back with you here. I've changed Skyview's GPS navigator to set myself up with a flight plan in which I have an active leg, and you can see it on my map on the right, but I'm somewhat left of course here. I'm roughly paralleling the course. By the way, I've switched my autopilot to fly in the track mode. It's, it's placing my ground track on the bug on the directional gyro, and I've set it up so I'm roughly paralleling my course. The w reason I'm doing this is I want to demonstrate what happens when we try and select a nav mode in a case like this where we're not currently on the course line. So again, the autopilot is flying. We're in the track mode. GPS ground track on the bug. The bug is set at 354 degrees. And you see that enunciated at the top of Skyview's display. Now, I'm going to press button 4 for the nav mode. Uh, earlier in the video, you saw that the autopilot immediately switched to the nav mode. The nav mode became engaged. Well, watch what happens now when I press the nav button. Ah, the nav button didn't turn green in this case. It turned gray. The track button is still green. The track mode is engaged. In this case, the nav mode is armed. It's turned gray. That tells me it's armed, meaning that mode is uh, holding in standby. The autopilot is prepared to carry on in the nav mode, but something has to happen. And what is that something? Well, the autopilot won't switch to the nav mode until we have a nearly centered needle. Let's look at the status bar enunciation at the top. Here we see the autopilot tells me I'm in the track mode holding a track value of 354 degrees. The white arrow says I am prepared to the switch to the GPS mode but guess what? You, the pilot, have to put me on course. Now, this is a distinct departure in behavior from the autopilot when using the simplified mode. In the simplified mode, 
if you select the what we now call the HSI mode, similar to nav, the autopilot would immediately turn and create an intercept angle for you. It would get the needle centered and turn on course. In the expert mode, the autopilot will not create the intercept angle for you. It's the pilot's responsibility to cause the airplane to intercept the course, and we do that by carrying on in either the heading mode or the track mode. But I, the pilot, have to set the bug to establish an appropriate intercept angle. And I'm going to do that now. We're in the track boat with a bug value of 354. I'm going to spin the bug. I don't even know what number I'm looking for. I'm trying to create approximately a 30 degree intercept. And visually, that looks about right. To be more precise, 024 is a 30 degree intercept from 354. So I've set the bug at 024. Notice the autopilot created a right turn. It's placing my GPS ground track on 024. Oop, let me get back to the roll menu. There we go, the autopilot is carrying on GPS track of 024 degrees. Nav mode is armed. Now nothing will change until we get to a centered course line. A, uh, correction, a centered course needle on the HSI. So I'm gonna pause the video here and I'll be back with you in a moment when I get on course. Okay, I'm back with you now, and as you can see from uh, my HSI needle, we're almost on course, and I just barely made it back in time. Notice that as my needle got almost to the center, the autopilot automatically sequenced to the nav mode. The track mode turned black. The nav mode went from gray to green, which again says it went from the armed condition to the engaged mode. Notice my uh, enunciation in the upper left hand corner now says we are carrying on in the GPS mode. It's magenta telling me I'm following, me, following GPS course guidance. So just to refresh, anytime you attempt to select the nav mode and you're not yet on course, if the, the course needle is deflected by more than a, a, a small amount, the autopilot will arm the nav mode and it will not engage the nav mode until the needle is almost centered. It's the pilot's responsibility to get the autopilot, uh, or rather get the aircraft on course. You generally would do that with either the heading mode or the track mode. In my example, I use the GPS track mode, and that's fine, but again, for a review for you IFR pilots, if you were following an ATC vector, to intercept that course. They would have given you a magnetic heading vector. It would have been your responsibility to be uh, having the autopilot fly the airplane in the heading mode rather than track mode. So in this video and the prior one, we've covered all three on-course modes on the lateral or roll axis for the autopilot. In future videos, I will cover using the autopilot and controlling the pitch axis, meaning uh, altitude hold, climbs and descents, and the VNAV mode for vertical guidance on precision approaches. Thanks for joining me. For more information on planning or capabilities of the Skyview system, please see our website at dynonavionics.com, where you can find links to our system installation guides, pilot user guides, and other valuable information like our user form. Thank you for watching the Dynon channel.